Welcome everyone to the 2020 first FinTech Accelerator Demo Day. Finance has always been one of the school major disciplines that is covered by different courses and programs and activities. But FinTech per se has been part of our offerings since 2015. احنا بنتكلم على population 100 مليون بنتكلم على حسابات في البنوك حوالي 14 مليون بعض الحسابات موجودة في البريد في رولر areas وفي areas موجودة مختلفة زي ما نبص على مرسى مطروح ونبص على شرق العوينات ونبص على المناطق اللي بعيد عن القاهرة ولازم نفكر في الناس دي ان احنا علينا مسؤولية مجتمعية ان احنا لازم نوصل الناس دي انها توصل لها المعاملات المالية المصرفية بالطريقة السهلة وبأرخص الأتمان اللي نقدر نتعامل بها مع الناس This cycle, we have seen how a global health pandemic has brought a great deal of change and uncertainty but also how it has created an enormous opportunity for the fintech sector More than ever before, do we need to support innovations that grant individuals and businesses safe and affordable access to financial services. We're very proud that recently the FinTech Accelerator at AUC School of Business was selected among 25 innovations that inspire by the ACSB International Organization. This is a huge recognition to be selected among 25 out of close to 1,700 business schools. It shows the effort that the school is doing in the space of FinTech, but it also, and more importantly, endorses the quality and the impact and the potential growth, scalability of the FinTech space in Egypt. We have around 14% of the adult population in Egypt only who bank their money. This creates a huge opportunity for financial inclusion. And when it comes to financial inclusion, FinTech startups and solutions definitely will play a major part. So today, we don't just celebrate creative entrepreneurs who actually are making a difference, but we're also seeing startups that can actually help transform our economy and help move much of the informal economy to be part of uh, the mainstream economy. We therefore invite you, entrepreneurs, investors, and regulators, to engage with us and our partner, to build out on this momentum, and to unlock the potential of the fintech industry in Egypt. Thank you. Welcome to the AUC Venture Lab 10th fintech demo day powered by CIB. The fintech space in Egypt has grown substantially over the past years. The central bank has created several initiatives. We are seeing new laws and regulations in place, and we are seeing new venture capital funds launching. Over the past six months, we pivoted all our programs and activities to continue to support our startups virtually. We helped our entrepreneurs as they dealt with tough questions, like how do they continue to operate in this challenging environment? How do they manage their cash flows? How do they pivot and adapt to a new normal? To date, AUC Venture Lab has supported more than 200 startups. 50 of them are FinTech. Our startups have collectively generated 560 million pounds in revenues. They raised 1.6 billion in investments, and they created more than 8,000 jobs. Next year, we will continue to support our FinTech startups virtually. We are also going to launch several hackathons and ideation programs to spur innovation in that space. Welcome to our FinTech Demo Day.
Welcome to the AUC Venture Lab demo day of the FinTech Accelerator powered by CIB. The Spring 20 cycle has been quite exceptional. Over the past few months, we committed ourselves to support entrepreneurs who struggled with uncertainty. Since March, we engaged more than 2,500 individuals through several tailored online events and offered consultations and mentorships adding up to 200 hours, helping entrepreneurs through these tough times. As the global pandemic challenged many businesses, it also opened new doors for emerging spaces like financial technology. The graduating cohort I present to you today have shown perseverance, passion, and agility as they navigated the ever-changing market dynamics and arising challenges with innovative solutions. Without further ado, here is the AUC Venture Lab FinTech cohort of Spring 2020. Good day everyone, I'm Rafi Kuruyan, founder of Gold Daddy and the fourth generation family of jewelers and goldsmith from Alexandria. My story with Gold Daddy started in 2008 during the financial crisis when central banks started printing a lot of money and I realized that this could be the beginning of a uh, currency debasement. At that, at that point I went off to buy three kilos of gold to protect my modest savings. Uh, here I faced high transaction costs of 3.5% and I also was, there was risk of transportation. Now, fast forward to 2011, when, du when uh, during the revolution in Egypt and the lawlessness that followed, I realized that the three kilos of gold which were by now sitting in a bank safety deposit box are not insured. My personal experience is a microcosm of similar pains encountered by thousands of jewelers and millions of consumers with high cultural affinity to invest in gold in the MENA region. According to research conducted by Emirates Investment Bank, there is in 2019, the investors tend to keep 8% of their wealth in precious metals in the MENA region. To cater to their needs, we came up with our solution, a digital gold bullion investment platform, whereby retail investors can buy, sell, store, and insure bullion gold at wholesale prices. The way the platform works is that users get to look at their balance and price of gold, then put a buy or sell order, and then follow up on their invest profit and loss of their investment. The way platform works is that user gets to transfer funds from their account to the Gold Daddy's account. That, that will give them a, a balance with which they can buy a digital gold, 100% allocated to a portion of a large gold bar, which is deposited in a safety deposit box, fully insured. If the, if the user wishes, they can uh, redeem the gold at an additional fee. The user experience consists of the user get, being able to look at their balance. They can buy, they can, then they can look at the price of gold. Then they could either put a buy or sell order. And then they could check on, their on the profit and loss of their investment. We protect your digital gold through cybersecurity measures, including remote data recovery, two-factor identity authentication, as well as hard copy process documentation to, to ensure business continuity purposes. If our solution uh, was important before COVID-19, it became even more so now that the demand for uh, hassle-free contactless transactions are increasing and central banks are printing even larger sums of money to bail out the, the, the budgets of their governments, which is inevitably going to lead to, uh, to, the, to currency debasement. We are, uh, when we look at the gold market size in the Middle East, we see that uh, according to con research conducted by the World Gold Council, the consumption of jewelry and bullion in the Middle East is around 316 tons in 2019, of which Egypt accounts for 28.8 tons. According to our research, uh, 12, the Egyptian size of the Egyptian bullion market is uh, 12 tons, of which we are targeting about 10% market share in year seven of our operations. Our revenue model is fee-based. We are charging 0.7% for buy and sell transactions, and we are charging 0.1% yearly vaulting and insurance fee. 
this is the cheapest way you can own bullion gold. Our competition is mostly international, uh, with none of them are having focus on retail uh, bullion investors in the Middle East. Uh, the leading uh, competitor is Bullion Vault, which operates out of London. Uh, our pro progress to date consists mainly of uh, pledges we've received from, uh, from our network of uh, personal network to become investors as soon as we launch. We also have negotiations with um, Abu Dhabi Global Markets, as well as the FRA in Egypt to obtain regulatory licenses, and we're partnering with banks. So far, we have raised $100,000 in pre-seed funding. Our team consists of myself. I have 20 years of experience in MENA Capital Markets. Chris Yono is a, he's a London-based banker. Ahmed Meki is an award-winning designer from New York. And Antonio Montero, he is the former CTO of ISI Emerging Markets, where we worked together for many years. He's our tech maestro. Register now if you want to get a one-year free storage and insurance at GoldDaddy. Thank you. Salchir. أنا شريف المصري فاوندر ديليفري شوب كلنا بعد كوفيد 19 حسينا بأهمية الإي كوميرس وقد إيه كنا كلنا في البيت وبنطلب كل الأوردرز بتاعتنا أونلاين طب أنتوا عارفين حجم الإي كوميرس لحد النهارده في مصر أقل من 10% في حين بيوصل في دول تانية ل 30 و 40% إيه هي الأسباب؟ إحنا عملنا انترفيوز مع أكتر من 100 إي كوميرس بلاتفورم عايزين نعرف إيه هي الأسباب اللي مش مخليهم يا إما يبدأوا يا إما يكبروا حجم شغلهم. معظمهم اتفقوا إن المشاكل دي أسبابها متعلقة باللوجيستكس والسبلاي تشين زي التوصيل والتحصيل والتخزين. وحصرنا النقط دي في خمس مشاكل أساسية. الحاجة الأولانية وهي الكواليتي. آه مصر فيها شركات شحن كتير بس المشكلة إن معظمهم بيقدم كواليتي غير مرضية. المشكلة الثانية إن أسعار الشحن قد يكون كبير نسبيا لبعض المنتجات يعني ازاي اوصل كتاب سعره 40 جنيه عشان اوضيه الصعيد ادفع 80 او 90 جنيه شحن المشكلة التالتة وهي مشكلة الكاش ريتيرن ان احنا دلوقتي لما لو العميل بيوصل اونلاين فلوسه بترجع له خلال اسبوع وممكن اكتر من كده كمان المشكلة الرابعة اللي بتقابله هي مشكلة التخزين انا لو عايز ابيع اونلاين محتاج يكون عندي مخزن ومانج الستوك ده رقم خمسة وهي الدليفري بروسس معظم الشركات بتشتغل بالنظام اللي يناسبها هي مش اللي يناسب العملة دليفري شوب بتحل المشاكل دي احنا بنحلها عن طريق ان احنا كنا عايزين نحقق معادلة افضل كواليتي واقل سعر عملنا ده ازاي احنا ما عندناش ولا فرع ولا مندوب احنا بنستخدم اوت سورس درايفر عشان نوصل بيها الاوردرز بتاعتنا ان زون طيب ايه المشاكل تانية حليناها ازاي؟ حليناها من خلال احنا بنرجع للعملة بتوعنا الكاش خلال 48 ساعة وكمان بنقدم لهم خدمات التخزين و... وكمان بنعمل حاجة مهمة جدا بنقدم كاستمايز سلوشن احنا مش بنتعامل مع كل العملة بتوعنا حاجة واحدة اللي بيشتغل ببيع ايفون غير ببيع قطع غير سيارات غير اللي هو مثلا بيشتغل فاشن حجم الماركت احنا بنترجت الاي كوميرس السمول والميديم بزنس ودول حجمهم في مصر تقريبا حوالي 2 مليار جنيه احنا بنترجت منهم 2% بريفينيوز حوالي 40 مليون جنيه ان شاء الله نحققهم خلال 3 سنين احنا الريفينيو ستريم بتاعنا عندنا تو ريفينيو ستريمز الاول ان احنا بناخد كوميشن بيزد 50% يعني مثلا لو الاوردر بيتوصل في مصر الجديده ب 20 جنيه الدرايفر بياخد 10 جنيه والشركه بتاخد 10 جنيه الريفينيو ستريم الثاني بيكون الوير هاوسنج وفيلمنت سيرفيس ودي حسب السبيس اللي العميل بياخدها عندنا والفتره والترانزاكشن ان واوت طيب بالنسبه للكومبيتيشن في شركات كتير في الماركت بس احنا هنكومبير بالستارت ابس اللي زينا اللي بادين من سنتين وثلاث سنين بنتكلم على بوستا ارتو اس سبرنت احنا شفنا بيقدموا ايه بيقدموا توصيل في 24 ساعة وتراكنج سيستم احنا اوريدي بدأنا بكده وكمان هنعمل ايه احنا بنقدم زيادة ان احنا بنقدم اسعار اقل من اللي في الماركت بحوالي 30% وبنقدم كاستمايز سلوشة للعملة بتوعنا وكمان بنرجع الكاش خلال 48 ساعة احنا فخورين جدا بالحقنا خلال 8 شهور احنا قدرنا نتعاقد مع اكتر من 150 اي كوميرس بلاتفورم بريفينيوز حوالي مليون جنيه بمعدل نمو شهريا 30% 
الرود ماب بتاعت احنا بدانا في كيو 1 2020 بدانا في القاهره واسكندريه ان شاء الله بنهايه السنه دي هنكون مغطيين محافظات مصر كلها وفي كيو 2 21 هنكون خلصنا البلاتفورم بتاعتنا بكل الادفانسد فيتشرز بتاعتها وفي نهايه السنه الجايه ان شاء الله هنكون بنعمل 100000 ترانزاكشن في الشهر بريفينوز حوالي 3 مليون جنيه في الشهر وان شاء الله في كيو 2 2022 هنبدا نقدم خدمات الفولفيلمنت والوير هاوزنج لكل الاي كوميرس الموجودين في مصر عشان نحقق الرود ماب دي احنا محتاجين 600 الف دولار لل 18 شهر الجايين هنصرفهم 35% اوبريشن و20% تكنولوجي و25% سالاريز و20% ماركتنج وعشان الطريق طويل والفيجن كبيره كان لازم يكون في فريق قوي فريق قوي كل واحد فيهم عنده اكسبيرينس في المجال بتاعه اكتر من 10 سنين المهندس مصطفى عشره وهو كو فاوندر وهيد اوف تكنولوجي وهو عمل اكتر من 10 بلاتفورم في مصر وبره مصر زي مجد يعقوب وكمان الاستاذ سعيد ابو زيد وهو ادار اكتر من اوبريشن لاكتر من شركه في اكتر من شركه في مصر وانا شريف المصري انا البيزنس ديفلوبمنت وانا السي او بتاع ديليفري شوب وكمان اكسبيرينس 10 سنين اكس امازون واكس دي اتش ال في النهايه انا بشكركم جدا ولو حابين تعرفوا اكتر عن ديليفري شوب تقدروا تزوروا الويب سايت والفيسبوك بيج وكمان بنقدم ديسكاونت 25% لكل العملاء الجدد لمده شهر عشان تجربوا اكسبيرينس مختلفه ليكم ولعملائكم شكرا هاي managing and securing human access control verifying identities and collecting micro access fees without creating a bottleneck or interacting with human or using a physical token like plastic cards and tags are becoming very challenging. Our customers have a problem finding a touch-free solutions to manage and secure their gates, which is affordable, easy to onboard and customizable to their needs. PassApp offers an end-to-end -end digital authentication and access solution which consists of three main products, IoT hardware devices which accept payments and open automatically gates. Designed and manufactured by our own hardware team. The second product is the mobile wallet app using contactless communication protocol like Bluetooth, NFC and QR codes. The third product is a blockchain network that guarantee user privacy, security and microtransaction payment fees. Eliminating the, the use of any kind of physical tokens, human interaction without compromising security and privacy and serve multiple use cases providing a tailored fit for each industry. Our solutions are operational and have been used by our customers since early 2019. Customers in our active vertical include gated communities, workspace and offices and parking venues. Since our launch, we have successfully processed 2 million transactions including gate opening, identity verification and payment processing. Pass app generates revenues through two main revenue streams, selling the IoT devices and my payment processing fees per transaction. Pass app is currently serving three active use cases and is looking to launch a new use case every six months. We compete with manual access management system and manpower access solutions. We have a competitive advantage in this market due to affordable pricing matched with decentralized and contactless technology. We currently have 20 team members structured into four main categories, hardware engineers, software engineers, commercial team and operational team. Our engine investors and board member, Hanan Abdel Majid, Hatim Dwidar, and Ahmed Abu Doma, which actually working closely with us to reaching, helping to reaching our goals. And myself, Hanyel Borai, founder and, and CEO of PassApp, I have 22 years experience creating digital solutions across my entrepreneurial journey. We are asking to raise 360,000 US dollar to continue developing our platform and expanding our commercial activity. Thank you. These inspiring entrepreneurs have managed to craft responsive business models that have allowed them to seize opportunities as they emerge, 
to reposition their value propositions and to leverage the technologies they have to help businesses move to online models and remote monetization, as well as help society maintain business as usual and sustain a functional lifestyle. Hi, I'm Omar Khalil, founder of Edipay, a mobile app that helps businesses build their customers in a simpler way. Today, I'll be explaining Edipay's business model through the eyes of one of our business partners, Nino's Bakery. Nino's Bakery is a small bakery in Do'i that specializes in customizable cakes. And with each customizable cake, Nino requires a deposit to be paid. And this causes two problems. One is traffic. No one wants to drive to Do'i to pay a deposit. And two is that over the past couple of months, birthdays still happened but people refuse to leave their homes or deal in cash in order to pay the deposit. When we spoke to our merchants, we found that they're looking mainly for three things in a billing system. One is a monitoring uh, system that shows them who paid and who didn't. Two is a recurring uh, payment uh, system. And three is a zero integration solution that doesn't require a technical person on their team. Thus, we built an online portal like an Excel sheet. In the first column, the business adds the phone numbers they want to bill. And in the second column, they add each uh, amount they want to bill. And then in the third column, they add the frequency of the billing, monthly, weekly, quarterly, etc. Then the system automatically sends out an SMS and an email to the customer and once the customer logs on to the app, they'll find their bills there ready to be paid. Which brings us to the customer side of the business. Now the customer needs mainly two things. One is a bill reminder and two is a cashless form of payment. And on Edipay, we offer both of those things. If you look at the Egyptian market, you'll find that there are around 32 million uh, internet subscribers, mobile internet subscribers, and around 30 million credit cards and debit cards on the market. And this number has been increasing due to coronavirus. In the latest survey done by MasterCard, we also found out that around two thirds of the Egyptian market would prefer to pay for stuff using, using their phone. Now, when you look at uh, the competition, there are two things that differentiates us from our other competitors. We understand that there are a lot of people in the billing market, however, Edipay offers the uh, customer who's paying the option to pay what we call uh, private bills like Nino's or their gym or their school and what we call public bills. So sort of utilities, phone bills, electricity, etc. And on the other hand, for businesses, we offer them a solution that requires zero integration, zero technical experience. All they need is to sign up on Edipay and within a week, they're up and running. Those are some of the industries we uh, spoke to or have collaborated with. And to go more in details, those are some of our business partners that we helped grow their business over the past couple of months. Back to Nino's story. Since we've been working with Nino's, they've been able to accept orders from all over the place. They've even been able to accept orders from abroad for people trying to surprise, surprise their loved ones at home. So in the future, we're looking to introduce Edipay's API, which will allow us to work on more complex solutions. We're gonna introduce a loyalty program so people would be incentivized to pay using Edipay. And finally, we're gonna start rolling out QR codes in store in order to uh, offer uh, our clients a contactless form of payment. Currently, we're putting the final touches on Edipay. We hope that you start using it soon and we hope that you pay one of your bills using Edipay in the near future. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Sharif Shalan. I'm the founder and CEO of Bayanat AI. I have been working on digital transformation for 15 years, last five years, I was focusing on data and AI-driven decision-making, helping organizations to make better informed decisions. We are building Bionet AI to democratize the data and AI-driven decision-making by connecting the decision ecosystem. Inspired by how 
The world is turning to data and AI-driven decision-making, as it enables businesses in all industries to achieve growth and competitiveness. Especially in a world with more offerings than ever before, coupled by fierce competition, decision-makers need faster and better informed decisions in many aspects of their business. Consequently, leading business organizations are looking into becoming data-driven. And this created a huge total available market of 200 billion USD globally and 1 billion USD as a serviceable obtainable market in Egypt for us. And this is expected to increase as many organizations are trying to survive the COVID-19 recession. And we have seen also the problem. The journey towards data and AI driven decision making is not always a smooth one. The transformation is usually hard, expensive, and slow. Challenges usually encountered starting from hiring the right knowledgeable staff, the choice of the best fitting platforms, the time and cost needed to develop, test, and deploy solutions with proven satisfactory ROI. This is where Bionat AI is proudly introducing the Decision Command Center, the DCC. DCC helps organizations to become data-driven by helping the right people to have the right data at the right time and in the right context. And streamlining the alignment of all success elements needed for this. People, platforms, processes, solutions, and data with corporate strategy to achieve delivery of actionable insights instantly, establish a single version of truth, and accelerate time to value. DCC helps decision makers on many aspects of their business, including, but not limited to, pricing optimization, customer insights, marketing optimization, sales predictions, supply chain optimization that drives business success and achieving maximum revenue and profitability through all channels. This is achieved by provisioning DCC as a dynamic subscription-based data and AI-driven transformation practice. Our uniquely designed DCC lives in two main zones. The first is the customer zone, where organizations structured and unstructured data ingested in a private data lake that we automate the creation and management of it. This is totally owned by the customers, so they never lose the data even if they desubscribe from the platform. The other zone is where our decision support advanced analytics models provisioned in a modular way along with our data marketplace. This applies to all domains in all industries. However, we are focusing on four main industries right now. The non-banking financial institutes, the pharmaceuticals, the real estate, FMCG, and retail. We are launching from Egypt as a perfect launch pad. As per Egypt 2030 vision, estimated that 7.7 .7 of Egypt's GDP could be coming from the AI sector by 2030. The Egypt cabinet has approved establishment of the National Artificial Intelligence Council to be responsible for outlining the National Artificial Intelligence Strategy and overseeing its implementation. Our strategy in Bayanat Masr is perfectly aligned to serve this vision in different pillars especially increasing the awareness and adoption to SMEs that makes key contributions to the national economic and social well-being. Our main focus is to make this organization's transformation much easier, way faster, and drastically less expensive than other traditional ways. Comparing to the competition landscape, we are accelerating this results-oriented journey as we offer immediate team onboarding on a flexible engagement model and a financially friendly operation expenses with zero upfront investment. We are hitting the ground running. Since we launched earlier this year, we had four POCs in four different industries. We are partnering with business consulting firms in a revenue shared model to accelerate and scale our operations. And we have built our MVB that meets ITIL standards with a native AWS architecture. Our goal for the next 18 months is to hit half a million USD as an annual recurring revenue by transforming 20 organizations to become data and AI driven 
companies and help them achieve 10% profit increase in average as an ROI. Our pillars of growth are as follows. Increasing the reach, continue building technology, building the operations, building the data and AI experts community, finding new revenue streams and expand globally. The team is amazing and obsessed with data economy and its huge potential. We are mixing 50 years of deep expertise in artificial intelligence, data science, digital, business, strategy, and operations. Me, Sharif Shalan, founder and CEO, Ahmed Al Halawani, co-founder and COO, and Dr. Ali Hamdi as a chief data scientist. We are looking today for more strategic channel partners to scale this in a win-win revenue shared model. And if you are a decision maker looking to transform your organization to stay competitive in this information age, please, you are most welcome to get our special free data maturity assessment and get your transformation roadmap to take it from there. Please join Bayanat AI to democratize the data and AI driven transformation in Egypt by connecting the decision ecosystem. Thank you so much. مساء الخير من 90 سنة سنة 1930 كان لازم عشان تحصل على قرض أو تمويل في مصر إنك تزور فروع البنوك أكتر من مرة وتنتظر لفترات طويلة علشان بس تقدر إن أنت تستفسر أو تقدم أو تحصل على قرض أو تمويل وبعد 90 سنة لسه ما فيش أي حاجة اتغيرت نفس المشكلة من تضييع الوقت والمجهود في زيارة فروع البنوك للحصول على قرض أو كريدت كارد وحتى زيارة الفروع أكتر من مرة والانتظار لفترات طويلة ما بيضمن لناش إن إحنا نقدر نحصل على القرض أو التمويل اللي إحنا محتاجينه وحتى لو حصلنا عليه في الأغلب بيكون العرض اللي إحنا حصلنا عليه مش هو أفضل عرض ولا أنسب عرض إيطال يناسب الطلب بتاعنا وده بيكون بسبب إن إحنا مش بنقدر إن إحنا نحصل على عروض مختلفة من بنوك مختلفة ونقدر إن إحنا نقارن ما بينها ونختار الأفضل لينا وده طبعا بالإضافة لضعف الثقافة المالية والبنكية عند كتير مننا واللي مش بتمكننا ان احنا نعمل افضل اختيار على الجانب الاخر بتعاني البنوك والمؤسسات المالية من ارتفاع تكلفة الودايع وتكلفة الاستحواز على العميل وعدم قدرتها على انها تحقق الكريدت سيلز الخاصة بالقروض وبطاقات الائتمان وده اللي بيخليها تصرف ملايين من الجناهات على الانشطة التسويقية والترويجية ولكن في النهاية ما بتقدرش تحصل على النتائج المرجوة وعلشان كده احنا عملنا مولن مولني هي منصة للتمويل الائتماني بتمكن العميل ان هو يقدر يستفسر ويقارن ويقدم ويحصل على كريدت كارد او كارد او تمويل البيزنس بتاعه بطريقة سهلة وانلاين كل اللي العميل محتاج ان هو يعمله علشان يحصل على كارد او كريدت كارد بيدخل على مولني دوت كوم بيختار نوع التمويل اللي هو محتاجه وبيملى طلب في خلال دقائق بعدها العميل بيستقبل عروض ائتمانية من خلال شركاء مولي من البنوك والمؤسسات المالية وبيقدر ان هو يقارن ويختار افضل عرض يناسب طلبه بعدها بيبعت العرض ده لمولني مع المستندات المطلوبة بعدها فريق مولني بيراجع المستندات ولو المستندات دي متوافقة مع متطلبات البنك او الجهة المانحة للتمويل مولني بتبعت موظف من البنك او المؤسسة المالية علشان يستلم الاوراق الخاصة بالقرض ويمضي العميل على اوراق القرض وفي النهاية العميل بيقدر يحصل على القرض او التمويل اللي هو محتاجه مش بس كده احنا كمان عملنا سمارت تشات بوتس واللي من خلالها العميل بيقدر ان هو يقدم على كريدت كارد او كارد اونلاين وكمان بيقدر يستفسر عن اي مصطلح بنكي هو مش عارفه او منتجات بنكية او مبادرات البنك المركزي وبيقدر ان هو يحصل على فاينانشال ادفايزنج في اي وقت على مدار اليوم حجم السوق عندنا كبير هو حوالي 430 مليار جنيه بنسبة سيولة عالية جدا هي 55% ونسبة نمو سنوي بتتخطى ال 28% وده بيعتبر فرصة كبيرة جدا لستارت اب زي مولني الريفيني موديل بتاعنا هو كوميشن بيزد من مبلغ القرض وفي بناخده على كل كريدت كارد بيتباع والكوميشن بتاعتنا بناخدها من البارتنرز بتوعنا من البنوك والمؤسسات المالية والسيرفيسز بتاعتنا بتكون كومبليتلي فري للكاستمرز بتوعنا في خمس شهور بس قدرنا ان احنا نحقق ايرادات باكتر من 100000 جنيه وان احنا نسهل اكتر من 12 مليون جنيه كحجم قروض وتمويلات وقدرنا ان احنا نبارتنر مع اثنين من اكبر البنوك العاملة في مصر 
القطاعات المستهدفة المولني هي قطاع قروض الأفراد واللي بيستهدف القروض الشخصية، قروض السيارات، قروض التمويل العقاري بالإضافة لبطاقات الائتمان والقطاع التمويل المتناهي الصغر. الماركتنج شانلز اللي احنا بنستخدمها عشان نوصل للكاستمرز بتوعنا هي السيرش انجن ماركتنج، السوشيال ميديا شانلز، الاوف لاين ماركتنج بالإضافة للبارتنرشيبس اللي احنا بنعملها مع الستارت ابس والاس ام اي عشان نحصل على عملاء أكتر بتكلفة أقل. بالنسبة للكومبيتيشن مولني عن بتقدم العديد من المميزات والبنفيتس للكاستمرز بتوعها زي ان احنا بنقدم لهم كاستمايز كريدت اوفرنجز بتناسب حاله وطلب العميل اونلاين كمان بنمكنه ان هو يوفر في تكلفه التمويل والقرض عن طريق ان احنا بنوفر له عروض مختلفه من بنوك ومؤسسات ماليه مختلفه بيقدر يقارن ما بينها ويختار الافضل ليه مش مجرد ان هو بيقارن اسعار عامه او معدلات عامه للفائده زي الكومبيتيتورز بتوعنا ما بيعملوا كمان مولني بتقدم فاينانشال ادفايزنج مش بس من خلال الاونلاين بلاتفورم او التشات بوتس كمان احنا بنقدم بيرسونالايز فاينانشال ادفايزنج فور فري لو العميل احتاج دوت وكمان احنا بنقدر ان احنا نقدم آه ونساعد البارتنرز بتوعنا ان هم يقدروا يزودوا الكريدت سيلز بتاعتهم الخاصه بالكريدت كاردز واللونز وان هم يقللوا الكاستمر اكويزيشن كوست والكريدت اوبريشنال كوست وده بيتم عن طريق الباك اند الجوريزم اللي بيمكننا ان احنا نقدر نعمل فلتريشن بشكل اسرع وادق ويكون عندنا مور افيشنت باك اند اوبريشنز احنا بدانا في يناير آه 2020 وحاليا بنطور بيدنج بلاتفورم للقروض والكريدت كاردز وهنعمل لونش للبلاتفورم ده في نوفمبر 2020 وبنهايه السنه خطتنا ان احنا نكون عملنا بارتنر شيبس مع اكثر من 10 بنوك ومؤسسات ماليه وبحلول يونيو 2022 احنا هنطور افولي اوتوميتد كريدت سيستم وده اللي من خلاله العميل هيقدر ان هو يحصل على التمويل المطلوب بشكل لحظي انستنتلي اونلاين من غير ما يضطر ان هو ينتظر لفترات طويله وفي نهاية عام 2022 خطتنا ان احنا نسهل اكتر من 900 مليون جنيه كحجم قروض وتمويلات من خلال منصة مولني وان احنا نحقق ايرادات باكتر من 8 مليون جنيه فرص النمو عندنا كتيرة منها الكراود فاندنج وان احنا نمانج الجمعيات والماني سيركلز وان احنا نكسباند تو نيو ماركتز بالاضافة للبيك داتا والاناليتكس ده فريق مولني انا محمد ومعانا اميره وحاتم عندنا اكتر من 34 سنه خبره في العمليات البنكيه والائتمانيه الكاستمر اوبريشنز التسويق وتطوير المنتجات بالاضافه للكريدت فاينانشال ادفايزنج احنا بنستهدف ان احنا نعمل بارتنرشيبس اكتر مع بنوك ومؤسسات ماليه فلو انت بنك او مؤسسه ماليه محتاج ان انت تزود الكريدت سيلز بتاعتك للقروض وبطاقات الائتمان وان انت تقلل الكاستمر اكوزيشن كوست والكريدت اوبريشنال كوست احنا وي ار لوكينج فور وورد تو بارتنر ويز يو عشان نخليك تقدر تعمل ده واكتر ولو انت عميل محتاج كريدت كارد او كارد او تمويل للبزنس بتاعك تقدر تدخل على مويلني دوت كوم وتقدم طلبك ومويلني هتجيب لك افضل عروض تناسب الطلب ده شكرا ليك Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our demo day. And if you need support on your startup journey or you would like to connect with any of our startups, please don't hesitate to contact us.